Hey there everybody, this is my really high-tech washout booth. Um, basically this is a 333 gallon liquid tote, which you can find in a lot of rural areas very cheap, really quickly and easily. Um, I found this one on Facebook for $35, um, really cheap. Basically all I did was I took my reciprocating saw, um, just cut out this little window here. Um, was really easy. I think my reciprocating saw was $35 or $45 on Amazon and uh, just really made quick work of it. Cut that cage right out and also the plastic at the exact same time. Um, really was a really easy job. Um, in addition to that I made just a little stand. Um, the stand is made out of just two by fours. Uh, a two by four stand just fitted inside the base. Um, no real no real engineering to it or anything like that just to get it off the ground um, I just put it at a height that's comfortable for me and uh, it's really worked out well for me I'll walk you through some of the little things that I added to it this is uh, not the cheapest project but when you're seeing those washout booths online for five six seven hundred dollars uh, this is definitely a cheap alternative Okay, so this is the inside of my pressure washer. It comes with a drain in the tote. Um, basically, what I do is I let the water drain out of the drain and I have a little filter system that I'll go into detail with in another video. Um, and then inside here, I also have my, my rack that I just made out of two by fours. Um, it's nothing too fancy. It's just so that I can wash out my screens um, without them falling all over the place. When I use my pressure washer, I don't want to blow the screens all over. So I just use the little pegs that I put in here. Um, these simple little dowels so that it holds the screens in place. I might make some more at some point just so I can do more screens at once, but right now it holds three screens um, pretty reliably. So basically, as you can see, this is just outside. I've said before, I don't do this professionally. This is something that I just kind of do as a hobby. So I typically do this after dark, after my real job. And uh, I just bring this down and do my washouts here. Um, reclaiming in the daytime is not a problem, but I do do my washouts in the evening after, after the sun's gone down. So the next thing that I want to show you is my lighting system. Uh, it's really simple. It's just a couple bars of uh, LED lights. Um, lights up really well as you can see. This is something that um, makes it really easy to see how I'm doing washing out my screens. Make sure there's not a little bit of emulsion left here and there and you get a good good feel for how well your screen is washing out. Um, so it's just a little backlight and uh, I'll take you around to the other side and show you how that's uh, how I installed that. Um, it's nothing too complicated. It's just a simple little lighting system. So this is a little bit difficult to see when the lights are on it's really bright and when the lights are off it's a little bit dark but these are just strips of LED lights I've got four strips of LED lights in here um, and those four strips light up and really give you a good a good uh, idea of whether you're washing your screens out properly um, it's a nice bright light and as I always I'll put all the links for all the items that I purchased um, from Amazon down in the description in addition to the washout booth, I also have this air compressor. Um, it's just a little three gallon compressor. Um, I picked this up at Harbor Freight. I think it was $50 or something like that. Um, nice, uh, uses enough air that you can blow out or not blow out, but um, dry off a screen once you've washed it out. Um, and again, I'll show you that um, in another video if I ever decide to, to wash out a screen for you guys. Another piece of this that I use obviously is a pressure washer. Um, when I'm actually washing out a screen, um, washing the stencil out, I don't actually use the power on it. I basically just use it without the power so it's just the water stream coming out. When I do reclaim screens, then I use the pressure washer to, uh, to clean out the screens. But when I'm washing out an image in a screen, I usually do not use the pressure washer um, turned on. I just use the stream from the, from the washer. The last piece of my washout booth is a simple filtration system. Um, this is the filtration system that I use. Uh, this is not cheap. This is something like $200 online. Um, but basically what happens is 
the water comes out here with the emulsion um, goes into the bucket which has a little screen to catch all of the big pieces and then into this little catch basin and then I just use this small I think it's a one and a half horsepower pump to pump through the filtration system and when this thing is running I put a bucket here to catch the water so that I could put it down the sewer um, I think when it comes out it still has just a little bit of chemical in it so I'm just really not comfortable running it into the yard so I run this into um, into a bucket and then I put it into my I put it in my bathtub so that's my semi cheap washout booth um, definitely not a cheap project but um, like I've said in my previous videos I usually just collect the stuff the two by fours from the yard um, the tote the 333 gallon tote is just depends probably on your area. I know that I've seen them for free on Facebook, but also um, if you live in a city, it probably costs you a little bit more. Um, and this is a pretty large sized washout booth, I would say. So um, this is maybe, maybe a little bit big for a basement, but um, if you have a garage, this is definitely something that you could put in your garage. Um, the filtration system and everything, that's kind, of a, that's kind of a little bit extra and definitely is an expensive activity. But um, I definitely think it's worth it just to just to keep um, the chemicals out of your out of your sewer or whatever. So um, definitely something that's uh, that's a little bit bigger than my other projects. But also I think if you uh, if you have the the tools to do this and the ability to find a tote, definitely think you could save a couple bucks um, over a, over a um, store one on Ryanet or wherever you might get your wherever you might get your products. Um, this thing is uh, this thing has really worked well for me. I, I really like it. Uh, it's it's pretty heavy duty. Like I can move it around and um, not worry about it. When I've seen some of those ones that you buy in the um, on screenprinting.com or whatever, they're uh, they're a little bit flimsy and kind of um, kind of seem like they're maybe not worth uh, not worth the six or seven hundred dollar price tag. So hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, I don't know. It's nothing. It's nothing too outrageous, but maybe something give some people some ideas. Uh, something they can do at home and. Uh, Save a couple bucks. Thanks for watching.